Hey, good morning guys. Just coming to you with my daily blog uh, in the form of this video. Sorry I've been out of commission for the past few days. I have had a rough week. It's been uh, just really busy, just worn out. So I have not had the energy to put my blog together the last couple nights, but back in the saddle again. Here is a pretty cool picture. It's my wallpaper on my computer and it is um, off the coast of Scotland. It's called the Isle of Lewis, the Outer Hebrides in Scotland, or off the coast of Scotland. So kind of a cool picture there. All right, let's jump into my blog. Today we're talking about St. Norbert. God got his attention. There's a depiction of him there. Today in the book, in Kylo and in Terra, we read about a guy named Norbert. He was just having fun and not taking life too seriously. He became a deacon in his church, but only because it brought respectability and financial gain in his community, not because he was serious about God or the church or his spiritual life. One day he was out riding his horse and lightning struck the horse. This shook him up and he took stock of his life. He decided to become a priest. He undertook severe penances and became an itinerant preacher sharing the gospel throughout the countryside and bringing reform to the church for the final years of his life. You can read more about him here. That is the Franciscan media site. So we have a little audio clip to listen to about him here. Let's adjust the volume real quick and then let's listen to it. Strange, it is very quiet. It's not usually quiet. I usually have to turn it way down Today I have to turn it up. This is Franciscan Media, Saint of the Day for June 6th. Today we celebrate Saint Norbert. The religious order that Saint Norbert founded in 12th century France was confronted by a monstrous past, combating rampant heresy, revitalizing many of the faithful who had grown indifferent and lax in their faith, and bringing about peace and reconciliation among enemies. Norbert entertained no pretensions about his own ability accomplish these tasks. He realized that nothing could be effectively done without God's power. He found strength in his deep devotion to the Blessed Sacrament. He and the Cremonstratensians, also called the Norbertines, never forgot to praise God for whatever success they enjoyed in converting heretics, reconciling enemies, and rebuilding faith in indifferent believers. Many of them lived in central houses during the week and served in parishes on the weekend. Reluctantly, Norbert became an archbishop in southern Germany, a territory half pagan and half Christian. But he served with zeal, seeking reform of clergy and laity alike. Despite threats on his life and a brief stint in exile, Norbert courageously continued his work for the church until his death in 1134. There's more about the saint along with inspiration and Catholic resources at our website, saintoftheday.org. Okay. So most of us have to learn our lessons the way that St. Norbert did the hard way. It's a rare and wise person who learns from other people's mistakes. But it's not too late. Start reading about the choices people have made throughout history and learn from their mistakes instead. God, thanks for teaching us to take our lives seriously before you have to get our attention the hard way. St. Norbert, pray for us. And you guys have a great day.